Hello beauty addicts and welcome back. In today's tutorial we're going to create two sides, one glamorous side and the other one a skull. So if you want to learn how to get this look, stay tuned and watch. Let's begin this look getting our eyes in. Now that we're ready, let's take our third degree, mixing A and B together thoroughly, and begin making the division in our face. This is going to look like you have skin hanging from one side. Now that we have it where we want it, we're going to take some alcohol. The alcohol is going to help us to blend this product out. Make sure that you blend the edges so you don't know where it starts or where it ends. It's going to give this look a much more realistic effect. Taking your favorite eyeshadow primer, you're going to prime your eyes. Then you're going to take a nice beige color and you're going to apply that as your highlighter. You always want to apply the highlight first since it's easier to blend a darker color into a light one than vice versa. Now we're going to take a shimmering eyeshadow. We're going to apply that everywhere else and blend it into the highlight. Now using a medium tone, you're going to take a fluffy brush and blend that into your crease. Make sure you deposit the color and in circular motion, you blend upwards towards the highlight as well. Taking a slightly darker brown, we're going to take it just a little bit lower than that one and blend it upwards as well. Taking a black brown and a different brush, we're going to deposit the color in an angled shape and also a little bit lower than the last brown we did. Once you deposit the color you wanted, don't forget to blend it away as well. Taking the softer brown using a small brush, we're going to bring that color under the eyelashes and then we're going to take this darker brown and do the same as well. It's going to create a smoky effect. Now taking your favorite gel eyeliner, we're going to create a wing or a cat eye. Whatever you want to call it, but make one that will make you proud. Taking a color closest to your eyebrow color, shape and define your eyebrows. Next, take your favorite foundation and perfect your skin tone. Now take a loose powder or any powder that you may have and set that foundation so it can last all night long. Take your favorite shimmering highlighter and go to town. Make this side glow. Now taking your favorite bronzer, apply that in the areas that you want to recede or make look smaller. And then after that, make sure you add some blush in the middle and blend everything together beautifully. Next, take your favorite lipstick and apply that only on half of your lips. Now it's time for the body paint. I'm going to take a white and a light brown and I'm going to mix these two colors together to get my skin tone. Once you have the right color, apply it everywhere. Taking your black color, we're going to outline all the areas you want dark. Once you're done outlining, you can begin filling in these areas as well. Next, taking your white, I'm going to use a fluffy but pointy brush and I'm going to do the pointy side where the teeth are going out and the fluffy side where the teeth are going in. Taking the black and the tiniest brush you can possibly find, go around the teeth and outline them. Taking the black brown eyeshadow, we're going to take an angle brush and go in between the teeth and blend them outwards. This is going to give the illusion of a shadow and it's going to look much more realistic as well. Next, I'm going to create an outline where the eyebrow should be and then taking a soft brown, I'm going to blend it out. I'm going to take the same brown and blend out the eye socket. I'm also going to use it to create shadows anywhere that I want. Creating shadows and highlights make the skull look much more realistic as well. Taking the black again, I'm going to outline around my nose and then I'm going to hollow it out. 
Once I'm done with that, I'm going to take the brown again and create some more shadows in different areas. Taking the black yet again, we're going to fill in those areas that need to be hollowed out. Next, we're going to take some black eyeshadow and we're going to add it to that to make it look deeper and darker. Now taking a brown color, we're going to go right where the black ended and blend it outwards as well. Now taking a softer brown, we're going to go towards the end of that hollow. Taking the same soft brown, we're going to blend even further in those teeth. Taking my black gel liner, I'm going to fill in my waterline. I'm also going to bring it on my lid because I want to make that area darker. Taking the light brown one more time, I'm just adding extra shadows in other places just to give it more dimension and making me look more angry, I guess. Next, I'm using Ben Knight Thick Blood. This is a gel-like blood, so wherever I put it, it stays and it doesn't run. That's why I chose it for this project. Make sure you put that all the way down the seam that you made with the third degree. And no makeup is complete without lashes. Take your favorite pair and apply them. I like to start at the middle and then connecting the inner and the outer corner. Don't forget to add mascara to those eyes. And this should complete your look. Thank you so much for watching Beauty Addicts. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and share. And subscribe because we have videos coming almost every Tuesday. Remember to have fun with your looks. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.